Yes, it had to happen sooner or later. Jim Henson Productions has now spawned Jim Henson Interactive, and they've gotten together with Starwave and produced the Muppets CD-ROM, Muppets Inside. Isn't that great? No! No? No! No! No, 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 no! This is another one of those repackaging deals, isn't it? They've obviously just taken a whole bunch of clips from The Muppet Show and crammed them onto a CD. I mean, it was a great show and all, but I can rent those clips at Blockbuster, darn it! Okay, and just how far did you look into this package? 30 seconds or so, but that was enough, man. They started playing the theme music, and those curtains went up, and I just left the room because I couldn't take the shame, man! Nice speech, Cynical Man. There's just one problem. You are completely and thoroughly out to lunch on this one. You mean... There's more than a bunch of Muppet Show clips? A lot more. So they've got, what, a goofy game interface, like Monty Python's complete waste of- Please! The waste of time was really cool, but it's so 1994, don't you think? Yes, some of the format on the Muppet CD came from the waste of time, but major improvements have been made. You mean, there's new Muppet footage? I think we'd better start at the beginning. Oh, please, new Muppet footage, please, new Muppet footage, please, 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 please. Yes! There's over an hour's worth of new Muppet audio and video. Yay! But there's also a plot. And they fit it on only one CD? Save that line for later. Immediately after you decided to leave the room, Muppet CD-ROM breaks into a million little pieces scattered all over your hard drive. That's a selling point? It's a plot point, smart guy. There's all these Muppets running around inside your Pentium and you- Actually, I've only got a trash 80 color. What? How the heck were you able to run this program? Well, it's got the extended basic package and a Windows 95 upgrade. Ah! Anyway, your task is to guide Kermit and Fozzie around your system in a data bus, picking up abandoned Muppets and clearing data passages. And this would be? It's the bitmap you follow to get around. Cute. Very cute. Each of the folders contains a game that you have to finish to continue. There are seven of these mini-games at three different skill levels. So where are the clips? We're getting to them. First of all, there are these programs. You may notice that some of them look a bit familiar. Isn't that Hollywood Squares? Close enough. That's trivial but true. The first game you run across plays just like Hollywood Squares with Fozzie Bear as Paul Lind. I assume it's a lot funnier, though. Definitely. Humor is never a problem in this product. In fact, sometimes gameplay may suffer a little for a great sight gag. Oh, no. This isn't what I think it is, is it? You got it. Kitchens of Doom. The Swedish chef runs around fighting evil vegetables with his whisk. Kitchens of Doom is never going to compete with other Doom clones, but there are other games that come frighteningly close to the originals. Is that Missile Command? Yep. In Waka on the Wild Side, you've got to get Fozzie all the way to the other side of the stage, blasting incoming eggs and tomatoes and blocking the canes and closing the trap doors. This can get pretty tricky, too. Hey, who's the red guy? That's Clifford, a new Muppet, and a very cool one. A new Muppet? Wow. Is this Name That Tune? Well, it's Scope That Song, but yeah, it basically is. You get so many notes either burbled by New Zealand's musical fish or screamed in pain by Marvin Zugg's fuzzy little Muppables. Okay, it's clip time. There are a couple of games where the whole point is to unscramble a classic Muppet Show segment. Then you get to watch it? Of course. Goody. So what's the deal with Gonzo? Well, as usual, he's got the weirdest game of all. In Gonzo's death-defying acts of culture, you get to blast him from a cannon to the target on the far wall while he plays a classical tune on the harmonica. There are lots of obstacles around, and you have to adjust the cannon angle and the amount of gunpowder. That sounds pretty trial and error. It is. How many shots do you get? As many as it takes. Um, wouldn't that hurt Gonzo an awful lot? Since when has a little pain stopped the great Gonzo? I think I may have broken something. Hey, cool! <laughs> And with all this stuff, there's still lots of other surprises in store. You never quite know what's going to happen. When I started up the game after two days, Kermit let me know I was missed. It was cool. Wow. You could say that line now, you know. Which? Oh. <clears throat> and they fit it on only one CD? Yep. Staggering, isn't it? The Muppet CD-ROM is a fantastic achievement, worthy of Big Jim himself. If you love the Muppets, and who doesn't, you need this disc. 
tell them, animal. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.